Okay. Thing, isn't it? We're going to go on to the mail on Sunday now. Does and this sound like something that'd be in your wheelhouse? Uh, Lewis, I was actually moving on to the next story. This is Sorry. exactly the kind of thing I was talking about. Your lack of discipline and focus, and we'll talk about it later. <laughs> anyway... Moving on to the Mail on Sunday, two transgender cyclists sparked backlash after hammering biological female competitors. That's right. Transgender cyclists Evelyn Williamson and Tessa Johnson hammer female competition at Illinois races. When are they going to look? Look, this is incredible, right? Because, of course, all of these very sporting bodies are coming out and saying, you know, actually, biological males shouldn't be in women's sports. People are playing catch-up. In America, they're definitely playing catch-up, Lewis, whatever you yeah. think about America. Yeah. Um, yeah. The UK is really leading the... Co but this is common sense, right? It's, it's just everything that Sharon Davis has been talking about. Exactly. Right She's got a new here. book about this, actually. Yeah, if you can find it. Um, yeah, because Waterstone stuff are probably hiding it. It keeps being hidden. I mean, yeah, it's, it's quite a long, complicated story with a lot of twists and turns, but essentially two transgender male-to-female cyclists have been winning lots of races against women. And then there's this complicated twist. Um, one of them is in a throuple with another trans cyclist. OK. Uh, and, uh, but all of that's just soap opera nonsense. I don't care what people well, do in their private lives. But the one that they're in a relationship with shoved a biological woman off, a, I think, off a bike. And this biological woman, who's also a cyclist, everyone's a cyclist in the story, well, look, left her own race because Antifa protested her, saying she was a turf. So, OK, it's a bit of a... OK, you've got three people in a throuple. That, you know, they're attracted to each other, they have similar interests, they like cheating at sports, you know, of course. <laughs> I mean, this, Lewis, this is incredible because what I find frustrating about this is we've got all these brilliant people writing articles and books, people like Sharon Davis, Helen Joyce, etc., who are writing all this stuff, pointing out the obvious. They shouldn't have to spend their time writing these books because we all knew this ten minutes ago that obviously male athletes shouldn't be in, in female sports. This is, this is just ridiculous. But we've yeah. reached that point, haven't I we? Don't, I don't think that women should be involved in, in uh, women's sports. I don't think women you, should you be... You always take the contrary view, don't you? No, so, this is... I actually believe this because it hurts for it. If not women in women's sports, what, with gerbils? No, there's just... There's no point in having women playing, playing sports. It hurts... It hurts... <laughs> It hurts well, I fertility. hate the fact that I agree with him to a large extent. <laughs> you don't, I don't agree care. with him on no, this, No, of course surely. I don't. I just don't want to play sport. But you they, just personally you're just don't want yeah. to play being sport. being rude. Women course, don't should... really like to play sport the way guys do. I've way... spoken to many uh, female athletes who would disagree with you, Lewis. They pretend. It's like you have same... such a small circle of female friends that, you know, you, you don't know <laughs> about these other women with different life experiences. I want, to, I want you to meet some of these people, Lewis. Not from lack of trying. Just not my friends.